Hello everyone, it's Harita Vibes, Harita Streeter back with another video, a cooking video. What's your problem? So, we're gonna make my scrumptious steak. Ah! Okay, so right now I'm trying to find a lemon and I have a lemon tree. So let's see if I can find one that okay so the lemons are obviously dying now let's see. let's take this one that's already fallen and put this one on the stick because it's going to taste really good Ugh. hold on Ugh. okay hold on let me get it ow okay I got it. Okay. So, this is the one we're going with. And I'll be back. Okay, so I don't have time, but it's okay. But I highly recommend using time. Because Gordon Ramsay uses it. He's my favorite chef. And it tastes really good, but we have lemon, we have butter, we have pink Himalayan salt, we have black pepper, steak and chop, garlic herb. I ran out of cayenne pepper, so we're going to use chipotle chili powder. I know that's different, extremely different from cayenne, but it's going to be amazing. Mrs. Dash onion herb. And then we're going to use this one. Spooky Chipotle steak rub. Roasted garlic and rosemary. Steak. This is a Angus beef ribeye steak grass fed. And then we're going to have some Brussels sprouts on the side. So let's get to it. And then a pan about this big. So we are going to sear the steaks. Um, sorry, sear the steaks. We are going to sear the steaks. Um, some people cook it just in the pot. But this is preheating to 400. I'm going to sear it. And then I'm going to cook it. I like my steak bowl done. If you like it a little bit less, like medium well or well, medium well or medium rare or rare, you can skip the oven part of it, but, or you can keep it and just keep it in there less. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, so some people don't use this, but I do. It helps tenderize, so you just, Um, you can beat it more, but I'm not going to because I don't want it beat that much. Beat it! Beat it! Um, this helps tenderize the steak and get the seasonings in there more. <clears throat> now for our seasonings. So, I showed you guys that earlier. That's with the butter, but I'm going to put the seasonings in with the butter. And then we got the steak and chop. Ooh, let's put some more in it. Some more, some more. Ground pepper. Oh, sorry. You guys. You know what? Forget that little tiny opening. Y'all just got my nails did. You like them? <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh, it's trying to break. It's trying to break me, but you can't break. And then Mrs. Dash, garlic and herb. So we're gonna put that in the butter as well. Jeez, I got gangster with the Mrs. Dash. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna use, um, I don't have cayenne, so I'm gonna use, I normally use cayenne, but I'm gonna use some chili powder. And then some Mrs. Dash onion herb. Again, that was garlic and herb. Now we, you guys, I'm like the Hulk right now okay and then 
This is Chipotle steak rub. You can get this at a seasoning store. We have some of those here in Temecula. I'm sure in your city you can probably find it. And it wouldn't, hold on, just put it right there. Um, it's just, okay, actually it was open, so I'll put it, there we go. You guys, I like to clean as I go. Because we all know once you're done cooking, nobody likes to clean. And then we're going to use the roasted garlic and rosemary seasoning. So just open that. <clears throat> Put a lot of that in there because it's not a strong taste. Now start breaking the butter up in it. What I'm going to do is... I'm just gonna break this up, mash it. Now, come on over to the steak. So, some more steak and chop. This is dash. You guys, you have to be good with your seasonings. You can't have some <clears throat> nasty stuff going on <laughs> where it tastes like you got it just out of a ketchup cheerio you gotta be good with yourself treat yourself good oh. and don't be like Hulk Hogan like me Mess everything up. so who who was the 18 percent of y'all that say <laughs> no I love the polls on Instagram but who was the 18 percent of y'all that was like don't make it because it's going to be y'all some haters you'll never expose yourselves either but it's okay i love the um honesty oh that's so much seasoning you guys once we fry it like a little bit and um sear it before i put it in the oven it takes away some of the juice and i got the juice the juice the juice and um we don't really need any more of this Okay, so then this is, so when I put this in the um, thing, so here we go. Let's get this nice and hot. I've got it on medium heat. This is not a non-stick pan, so, you know, you got to be careful. And if it burns a little, just clean it, you know, um. That's it. I'm clean it if it's a non-stick pan. Put your hair up. <laughs> I'm still trying to chop up this butter. Um. So yeah. That says that the oven is on 400 for when I'm done searing the steak. I'm gonna put it inside. I like to use aluminum foil and then kind of make my own, you know, dish. It's just one steak, so you can just. Rubble up the sides like that. You can have your steak with potatoes. You can have it with um, just a salad or a vegetable. Whatever you want your steak with. My thing is, is that I really like just meat and veggies. Carbs are just for fun. <laughs> and if I'm going to take my carbs in, it's not going to be with a steak. Like I'm going to take it in with like Popeye's chicken <laughs> or um, some pizza. <laughs> So if I'm at home, I'm gonna try and keep it keto as much mm -hmm. as I can. Okay, so this is hot. So we're gonna put our butter in here and our seasonings. And let it melt. Like I said, use some thyme if you want. Thyme is amazing. Really great herb to use. Let's let that melt a little bit more. And um, it's done melting. I'll be right back. So the butter is melting. Um, it's gonna cook fast in the pot. You guys, just I'm cooking like people cook like when they're at home, like not like some chef with all the utensils. 
So now we're gonna put the steak in the seasoned butter. There we go. Now keep it right there. Is it gonna be on medium or high heat? Medium. Alright. Well, it was on high, so I changed it. Oh, thank you. I have my sous chef. <laughs> yeah. If she wants to put the camera on herself, <laughs> <laughs> she probably won't. <laughs> you guys actually added lemon to. I actually added lemon to the butter mixture. <laughs> it's gonna make it taste really good. Okay. <laughs> so. And I picked the lemon from the lemon tree outside. <laughs> <laughs> I just got my nails done, so I'm looking crazy. I have no makeup on. She's putting the camera on me. <laughs> Do y'all think my sister is more mature than me? She's 23. Um, <laughs> don't answer that. Okay. So, actually answer it. Oh. And then what? Mrs. Always Right. I'm Mrs. Always Right. I'm Mrs. Always Right. I'm Mrs. Always Right. <laughs> so, we're just, while it's like this, we're gonna baste it before we flip it, too. Doesn't matter. You guys, not the pans really get on my nerves, but I hear um, the chemicals and shit under. Um, Nonstick pans yeah. are not good for you. Yeah. But it's just like a hell of a job. You see that? Mm. So we're gonna. That's mm, from a girl who's vegetarian. My little sister's been. <laughs> she was not vegetarian her whole life, but she <laughs> remembers me. Basting <laughs> just means like getting the juice. If you want, you can use more butter, less butter, whatever you think. I also know a lot of people that cook with gloves on. Um, that's fine, but when I'm cooking for myself or my family. Why would you cook with gloves on? I don't really know. I've just seen it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And when I seasoned the butter, I only used half of a lemon. I got it from outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're fresh like that. We fresh like that because our family is a strong black family. <laughs> We're a strong black family. So I'm gonna let this go for maybe like 40 more seconds. I was gonna say a minute. And then what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put it in the um, oven for about, I like my stuff medium well to well done. So that um, obviously is how long you're gonna keep it in the um, oven but I got it on 400 so I want this one like medium to medium well so I'll probably keep it in the oven on the inside for about 25 to 30 minutes just keep checking on it don't go do poking it a lot because then you're gonna get all the juice out of it so let's see what the other side looks like nah. Yummy. Okay, so then we turn this off and then follow me over here. Put it in my little concoction. These are all the seasonings, but I don't care. Turn it up. <laughs> Yummy in my tummy. Like I said, cool. Oh. This thing. This is going to make more juice because it's a ribeye, but it's also Angus um, grass-fed. Angus isn't really known to have a lot of fat, but ribeye is. So, put it in here. And then let it cook <laughs> for like 25 to 30 minutes and I'll... And I'll be back. Pop that for real. Pop that for real. Pop that for real. Pop that for real. Now for the Brussels sprouts. I cut up some of these already peeled garlic cloves. 
you can get garlic and then peel them and it looks like that. But if you get to a store and you're lucky enough to find the ones with no skin and then you just do it yourself, if you're lucky. I made some bacon and I cut them in halves. And then all I'm gonna do is take them and like cut them. So, you know, and cut them into little bacon bits. Kinda need two hands for this. I lost my film girl. But I'm gonna cut this up and then I'm going to make the Brussels sprouts. I already got some butter melting here in this pot and salt, pepper, um, maybe some onion, garlic to taste and, you know, do what is good for you. The steak is still cooking. I'm gonna let it cook for like 10 more minutes. Be right back. So you can cut up your own bell peppers to cook this. You can just do your own, put them in there. And once these feel a little bit soft, then you add the bacon and the garlic cloves. Garlic cloves first. So add the garlic cloves first, then the bacon. I like a lot of pepper in my food. And then a little of a garlic herb dash. Let that cook. Move it around. Um, I would highly recommend using like, you know, plastic um, utensils to move all of this around so you don't scrape your pan but if you don't have that just be careful so yummy we're gonna let this cook down a little bit and then we're gonna add the actually we're gonna add the garlic right now so, cut garlic Let it cook in there with it. Garlic is so good for you and um, tastes so yummy. The last part will be the bacon. Okay, now we're gonna make a little dipping sauce. We use this. Ah! Sriracha. Veganese. If you don't know, now you know. This one that we used on the steak. This is Dash Garlic Herb. And black pepper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some veganese. I love veganese. Um, it tastes like mayonnaise on steroids. Um, and has less the ingredients and healthier for you. It's yummy, so yummy. Barbecue. Okay. Mm. Seasonings. Mrs. Dash. Garlic and herb. Freshly squeezed outside and then just stir it. Mm. These are about done with all the garlic cloves. Looks so yummy. <laughs> and then we added 
the bacon to it on a very low heat, if not all right, like all the way off. Yummy. So this is the steak done. We're gonna let it cool off. And then we're gonna cut it open. Ooh. So this is the steak when it's done. Yummy, it's juicy. So we're gonna take it out of this foil. So hold on. Mmm. Put it on here. And then we're going to cut the pieces off. So you can see. So I like mine. I told you, medium well to well done, which is what it is. Mmm, yummy, look at that. And then even the fatter pieces. Yummy. And then we're just going to, mm, even like these crispy pieces right here. Mmm, yum. Mmm. Then we plate it, so we put the Brussels sprouts with the bacon and the garlic cloves. Of course, we're going to eat more than that. And then this juice. Don't waste the juice. Put it on the Brussels sprouts. Put it on the steak. And then our sauce we made on the side. And this is what we've got, people. This is what we've got. Mm. Yummy. So now we're going to taste it. Take this piece and dip it in some of the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Brussels sprouts. Dip it in the sauce. Mm. Mm. So, mm. Mm. so everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, YouTube, at Jerita, so Jerita Streeter, J-E-R-I-T-A, last name S-T-R, E A T E R Instagram at Herita Vibe. So that's J E R I T A V I B E Z with the with the Z. Um mm, so good. I gotta eat this. Let me know what y'all wanna see next. Okay? Bye.